Thanks for joining us. I thought we were talking about you. So the assets are shrinking. How are you as a member of the ultra rich? Do you have a, a, a social media site you're eyeing right now, Walter? Or, or you yeah, just... I think I'll buy CNBC, Joe. Coming we can on do here it together. is pretty good. Coming on here <laughs> is pretty good for you. Um, Correct. Do we take it seriously? How much is Parler worth? And how, how much is Yee worth? And it, it, is it going to be the same kind of situation we saw with Elon? We need financing and debt financing and everything else. What do you think Parler's worth? I think Parler is a niche player that becomes more niche if this happens. And this is pretty interesting because what you're going to see, or what you're seeing, is a fragmenting of uh, social media. Twitter, Facebook had pretty much been town squares where the network effect met if uh, you wanted to be on it, you wanted everybody else to be on it. You wanted to be on a place where you could hear many people. Now, if you're going to have so many different truth socials and parlors, that's a, probably a bad thing. I think it would be good for uh, the country and for our society to have uh, a few big places where it serves as a town square, where people can talk to people of different uh, opinions. I mean, Parler will end up being for people, be an echo chamber for people who agree with uh, that viewpoint. Same with Truth Social. I think if Elon Musk uh, ends up with Twitter, his uh, move will probably be, yes, bring more people in, but try to make it a very broad platform that's not a niche player to a certain ideology. Uh, it, it's... What do you think Elon was? It was just a joke, don't, don't, don't you think? He, he thought, wow, I have Twitter, maybe ye gets uh, parlor. We're going to make uh, social media safe for free thinkers. There's not going to, I don't know whether you call ye a free think. I don't know what the hell ye is, Walter, at this point. I don't know what you think he is either. He's certainly a, uh, a, a controversial figure and getting more controversial as, as the days go by. Yeah, I'm not an expert in Kanye West, and uh, I'm not, I don't follow him quite as closely as most people do. He seems like Me a neither. troubled individual, and it's quite. a bit of a problem. The uh, the the latest on uh, on Elon is is what you you've got your finger on the pulse of that. Well, he says that he's going to proceed with this purchase, and I suspect he will. He has the financing lined up. And I think that people are misinterpreting what he would do with Twitter. It's not about saying, OK, I want a couple more right wing, you know, people on the fringe coming in or left wing or whatever. I think what he's going to do will actually uh, end up improving dialogue on the uh, platform because I think he wants to make sure people are verified. I think he'll probably charge a tiny, small subscription fee, you know, maybe a buck or two a month if you want to be on the service, or at least if you want to be verified on the service and be amplified on the service. And that takes out people who are just trolls and bots and people who are just flamethrowers. And I think that he's going to want to make it more like WeChat or uh, other platforms in which you can pay for content. And so things that are valuable will actually rise to the top if you have somebody who's going to do his original vision for what he called X.com that became PayPal, which is have a system in which you have a payments platform on a social network like Substack tries to do with good writers and say, we're going to incent good, valuable content that people will pay for.